And we're back, hey? Yeah, man. <laughs> back at her. What are we working on today? We're going to do mostly chest. Yeah. And then I think his chest is a bit of a short day for me. I normally finish up with abs, but we'll do a couple of bicep exercises and then we'll do some abs. So chest buys, abs, do some posing, and then that's it. Nice. How are you feeling? I'm good, man. This weekend, I don't know what happened this weekend, but it was like, it was bad. Yeah. Like, full blown depression, oh, just man. felt like shit. Could barely like walk around. Some of the worst workouts I've ever had. Like, just hit a wall, man. Like a fucking wall. And then, diet didn't really change. Took the day off Monday. Had a huge presentation yesterday for a client that I've been stressing about. Got that out of the way. And then it was just like, I don't have any more major commitment between now and the show. Nice. And I think that just helped my mind. And I feel fucking great today. I went to bed at 10. I drank so much water. I drank like five, six liters of water yesterday because I think I was holding on to some weight because I wasn't drinking enough. I was getting up to piss like every 25 minutes. I lost seven pounds last night. Ah, that's crazy. Which means I weighed myself at 225 before going to bed yeah. and I was 218 when I woke up. I must have felt nice. Like... It did. I was like, <laughs> okay, now we're back. Because that was the other thing that depressed me is like out of nowhere my weight started to climb. And I think it was just stress, man. Yeah. Just cortisol, inflammation, yeah. just hanging on to water. Mm. And then once I just calmed down and gave myself a shitload of water, yeah. my body just went whoosh and flushed everything. There you go. Crazy how just a small thing, small variable can make a big difference. And I think that's going to be the priority for the next 11 days. It's like, it's all mindset. And I'm so fucking hard on myself. But it's just got to be like, no amount of beating myself up is going to make me any better at this point. So just accept whatever's going on because that's actually going to help you bring a better package. Yeah. If yeah, you're just sure. relaxed and calm and go with the flow. Yeah. Well, well, well said. Uh, I'll let you to it, warm up, and then we'll get going. Sweet. Awesome. All right, we're back at West Coast Iron. We're doing some chest, biceps, and abs today. And I didn't really give a whole lot of context last time. So I've been in prep for the last 24 weeks. Started out at 271 pounds, and I'm currently 218 pounds, which means I'm down 53 pounds in the last 22 weeks. It's currently 11 days out from the show. Um, and in a good spot. Like definitely went through a rough patch this weekend, but I feel like I came out on the other side of it and ready to just push hard for the next two weeks. So, let's do this. Up. Up.
So, range of motion, when it gets heavier, without those blocks, I'm so far extended, I'll injure my pecs. So I put the blocks in and it just raises it up two or three inches, but then it's really just the lift off that's tricky and then the blocks fall away and then I can come back down as far as I want. Yeah, they're the best man. I use them on that shoulder press as well because... You end up pressing from like way down here so it's really hard to get the leverage to actually get the weight up and moving yeah. then once you got it moving it's fine otherwise you got to ask for like a lift off yeah exactly. every time and that's just a pain in the ass it may get smarter not harder right yeah <laughs> At least three, probably four. Okay. But if we're gonna do a few, you know what? I'll just do four sets with this weight. I normally put on another quarter, but I only get like four to six reps anyway, so it's probably better to get a bit more pump. Yeah. So I'll do four sets of this. Last set, and then we'll go do some buys.
with the Hell snaps. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Looking good. Nice one. Late afternoons, it gets crazy. Like five o'clock, it's crazy. This is busy for a year, though. For this time of day. Not nearly as often as I should. Ever since the last eight to ten weeks of prep, I just threw them in at the end of chest day. Going forward, it's probably something, especially for the lower abs, like I'm okay blocky up here, but this is a little washed out. So I think I would try and improve that for next year. boys and girls there you have it another workout in the books a little bit of chest some buys some abs and a bit of posing so as I mentioned before we got 11 days to go it's crunch time that's gonna be it for the videos from here to the competition I will do a vlog that'll kind of take me over the night before into the competition and then I'm probably gonna do a wrap-up podcast either that weekend or the next weekend and just kind of break down my thoughts on how everything went but one of the hardest things I've ever done and I'm grateful to say I've had the opportunity to do quite a few hard things in my life, but nothing has ever been like a prep. So if you're on the fence about it or think it's something that you'd be interested in, I'd suggest doing it. You're gonna learn a lot about yourself. Some of it you may not like, other parts of it you may like. Um, so anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think, what you want more of, what you want less of, all that good shit. All right, cheers.